Hi there, I'm Adam McDermott and welcome to Platinum Journey where I document the highs and lows of getting a Platinum Trophy in some brilliant games. This episode is all about a game which celebrates the 8-bit era, Shovel Knight. And I have never played it before. So I'm going to do an entire episode on a game I don't even know if I like. What could go wrong? <laughs> Let's have a look at the trophies. 37 in total to get. 28 bronze, 3 silver and 6 gold. Unlocking all these trophies will require true mastery of Shovel Knight. 13 of the bronze are for killing enemies in certain ways with magical items. One for purchasing all relics, equipment and upgrades. One for not collecting any gold for an entire order of no quarter stage. These guys are the henchmen for the game's main antagonist, the Enchantress. One bronze is for destroying all checkpoints in a stage, defeating four of the Order of No Quarter, getting rid of the ghosts and illuminating the Hall of Champions, which contains portraits of people who donated $200 or more to Shovel Knight's Kickstarter campaign. One for finishing a stage without dying, giving a thousand gold to needy shoppers in the town, defeating a set of bosses that appear on the map throughout the game known as the Wandering Travelers, finishing a stage without taking damage, having 50,000 gold on hand, finishing a level without eating any food to replenish health, and the last bronze trophy is for finishing a level while swinging the shovel blade fewer than 20 times. Oh yeah, that isn't a shovel, it is a shovel blade. Something I only found out while writing the script for this video. Pity. Shovel Knight was far funnier when I thought of him as some sort of mad farmer bashing skulls with his everyday mud-covered shovel. The three silver trophies are for finishing the game, obtaining and returning all music sheets to the bard, and finishing New Game Plus. The six gold trophies are for destroying every possible checkpoint in the game, finishing the game without dying, without collecting any magical powers, without spending any money, without falling into a bottomless pit, and the final gold trophy is the most challenging, speedrunning this seven hour game in under 90 minutes. My plan of action is to beat the game, reload the clear file, go back and take care of all the miscellaneous trophies, then do New Game Plus where I will not spend any money as I will already have all the upgrades. And because I will not be spending any money, at some point have 50,000 gold on hand. And finally, I'll tackle the speedrun while not dying, breaking all the checkpoints and only using the shovel. So this will either go surprisingly well or horribly wrong. Let's find out on my platinum journey for Shovel Knight. The quick story of Shovel Knight is that long ago Shovel Knight and his partner, Shield Knight, were great and successful adventurers, but that ended when they came in contact with a cursed amulet at the Tower of Fate. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed and Shield Knight was gone. Heartbroken, Shovel Knight went into exile, and this is why I thought he was a farmer with an ordinary shovel. Can you blame me? Anyway. During that time, the evil Order of No Quarter, led by the Enchantress, took over the land. Now the tower is unsealed and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. Five minutes in and my adventure was off to a rocky start. Oh, quick aside, when Shovel Knight is hit, he flashes for a little bit, but because the game runs at 60 FPS and I'm capturing at 30 FPS, you may see him disappear, or remain solid and walk through enemies as some of the on and off frames are cut out. Wow. I suck. <laughs> Nevertheless, I managed to clear the first four stages with only 47 deaths. The toll of constantly dying was getting to me by stage five. 
I am so tired of dying. I continue to stumble my way through the fifth stage, amassing 25 more deaths. At this point, I might as well have a counter. As there are eight members of the Order of No Quarter and I have now defeated half of them, my first trophy unlocked. While bumbling past the next few stages, I defeated the last of the Wandering Travellers. Then I had the pleasure of dying endlessly in three more stages. Don't worry, just two to go. One of which was seemingly impossible because at the end I don't have to beat just one boss, but all eight members of the Order of No Quarter, one after another. Bloody hell. I have a hope of getting through this. <sighs> okay, uh... I want to go back through the game and do the first stage over and over and over again pick up a bunch of gold, upgrade my magic to max, upgrade my health to max, and then maybe I'll have a chance against this madness. As I was replaying stage one, picking up gold, to make things more interesting, I also got the trophy for beating a stage without dying, without taking any damage, not using my shovel more than 20 times, and for not eating food. I then battered a conveniently positioned group of flying rats in stage 2 with my many weapons to unlock more trophies. As I had money to spend, I paid a 5000 gold entry fee for the Hall of Champions, took care of the ghosts inside allowing the Kickstarter backers to shine, and also found a hidden room. Oh, this is a really cool part of the game I remember hearing about. So we found a mysterious map with a strange symbol on it. Symbol quite a few people will recognize. So now I've got a hooded individual wandering about the map. Let's confront him. Or her. It's, it's a him. <laughs> I should have known I wouldn't be able to beat the god of war in just one try. As a reward for beating Kratos, I got some god of war inspired armor. While it is pretty cool, it doesn't allow me to move while doing a downward strike, which is vital against bosses, so I had to reluctantly switch back to my old armor. Possessing all magical powers and having maxed out health and magic points meant it was time to battle the entire Order of No Quarter once again. Thanks to my upgrades, I was able to spam magic attacks on some of the tougher bosses like Polar Knight, Plague Knight, and Propeller Knight. <sighs> The final stage is quite short, with only one checkpoint, culminating in a two-stage boss battle. For some of these episodes I put a spoiler warning, but the story isn't a selling point for Shovel Knight. In fact, cutscenes account for less than 5% of overall game time. You can probably guess who the last boss is, and who ends up helping you. After finishing Shovel Knight for the first time and being rewarded with a trophy, I reflected on my experience. I really didn't like Shovel Knight when I first started playing. Well, I really didn't like the first five hours. <laughs> Not just the first stage, the first five hours. 
But the more I played, the better I got when I was able to finally upgrade my magic and that made things a little bit easier and I wasn't dying quite so much, it, it did become a little bit enjoyable. What a revelation! Not sucking at a game is enjoyable. I suppose I had a steeper learning curve because I was never exposed to those Super Nintendo games with their punishing difficulty. You know, what riled me up was dying here, but then having to go back through the previous screen and this screen and then this screen. You gotta go back through all this to get to the one point you died. And in the meantime, there's a bunch of other enemies who are trying to kill you and bottomless pits. Fucking bottomless pits. And that, 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 oh, that got to me. Oh, <laughs> there's the evidence. 200 odd deaths. That is an average of 19 deaths per stage. With my calamity of a playthrough over, I could focus on some handy trophies like finding sheet music hidden in levels, destroying all checkpoints in a single stage, giving money to greedy shoppers, buying all the equipment and finishing a level without picking up any gold. Alright, I have done just about everything I can in this clear file. Time to move on to New Game Plus, where I will not be spending any money, because I have all the upgrades anyway, to get the uh, penniless trophy. And I'll hopefully at some point have 50,000 gold on hand for some other trophy. I don't know what the name of it is, but anyway, that's the goal for my entire next playthrough. Before moving on to New Game Plus, I do want to point out something. Every decent trophy hunting website estimates that to Platinum Shovel Knight will take 16 to 20 hours. This is the 12th episode of Platinum Journey and not once has a game taken longer than the estimated time. However, with still two playthroughs left, I have already played Shovel Knight for 14 hours and 43 minutes. Let's turn that death counter from earlier into a playtime counter because I am far from finished. After marching through most of the stages I'd built up quite a bit of gold, but instead of risking losing it in the later stages, I went back and replayed stage 1 to quickly put me over the 50,000 threshold. Eventually the Enchantress was defeated and I got a trophy for beating New Game Plus and one for not spending any money during a playthrough. <sighs> Two playthroughs down. Now time to go through the entire game again but faster. Much faster. There are several things I'll be doing on this speedrun. Destroying all checkpoints, not dying, not falling into a bottomless pit, not using magic, and of course, trying to beat the game in under 90 minutes. If I die in a stage, I will quit to the main menu because Shovel Knight makes a save at the start of a stage and doesn't save again until the stage is over. So any time spent or deaths suffered in the stage are negated. Things went well for the first stage, it was my 15th time playing it after all. The second and third stage took a few retries but I was happy with my speed run time. Each level I beat is going to be the last time I ever have to do it. Which is kinda nice. I'm blue in the face from this game. However, after a whole hour of redoing the fourth stage with no success, Fuck this game. I had to change strategy. Okay, I am making this way too hard for myself. I'm trying to do too much here. I'm trying to get the trophy for not dying, the trophy for not using magic, the trophy for not using checkpoints, and beating the game in under 90 minutes. It's just, it's too much and I'm driving myself mad. So... This playthrough, I'm going to not die and break all the checkpoints. Because if I die... No, because... Yeah, 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 yeah. Because if I break the checkpoints anyway, and if I die, I'm back at the beginning of the level. I might as well just restart anyway. So this playthrough, breaking all the checkpoints and not dying. And then I'll do another playthrough where I don't use any, uh, any magic because 
I'm definitely going to need magic for the speed run. And then I'll do another playthrough. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And then I'll do another playthrough for the speed run. So I'm going to take this one run and then turn it into three. <sighs> Hopefully it'll be more manageable. Hopefully. I slowed down, got magic to make the game easier, and carried on destroying every checkpoint in the game while restarting any time I died. Seven and a half hours of trial and error later, I had beaten the final boss. But something felt wrong. I have a sneaking suspicion I missed a checkpoint. In Propeller Knight stage. We'll see. That is the trophy for not falling into a bottomless pit. And that is the trophy for not dying. Yep. God damn it. Okay. Okay, I'll reload an earlier save. I think I have one after Spectre Knight, which is like two stages before Propeller Knight stage. And I'll just do the rest of the game again. No checkpoints, breaking every checkpoint again. Uh, I'm so tired of this game. The same levels. I've done them so many times. Or attempted to do them so many times, should I say. I went back to stage 3 of 12. Played through the rest of the game again, making sure to break every checkpoint. And beat the final boss for the fourth time. But no trophy. Motherfucker. Did I just go through most of the game again for nothing? I broke all the checkpoints. I remember it because I went through the. Be I broke everything. I, d I can't think of what I missed. So all that. The last few hours were just, just wasted. So I just, I just... Gotta do the game again! This time I started my run from a new game and made extra double super sure to break every checkpoint. Thank goodness. Now for another playthrough, with only a shovel. How fun. New game, stages, bosses, credits, you know the drill by now. Ladies and gentlemen, the end is in sight. Only one playthrough left. The speed run. Hey, remember when I said this? Each level I beat is going to be the last time I ever have to do it. Well, now it's actually true. One by one I ran through the stages, some more stressful than others. Mother fucking assholes. And had a solid, not great time, with only the Order of No Quarter and the Enchantress still to face. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. 107? Might do the job, might not. First up, the Order of No Quarter. That gives me 12 minutes to beat the final boss. Yes! Okay. Fucking... Uh, come on. I got both of those in one. Yes! And... Oh, 
I don't have to play this game anymore. <sighs> Beautiful. <sighs> Way too many playthroughs. I'm blue in the face from this game. <sighs> How many playthroughs was it? Hang on. Normal playthrough, New Game Plus playthrough. Uh, checkpointless and no spending money playthrough. Then I do the checkpointless again, and then again, and then a shovel only playthrough, and then a speed run. So seven playthroughs. I'm so happy I'm finished this. This was meant to be easy. Well, not easy. It was meant to be a challenge, but not this much of a challenge. It was meant to be. You know, something I could do over a couple of days, not... I don't even know how long this game took to platinum. I'll probably have figured out in post-production, but right now, at least twice as long as I anticipated. Shovel Knight was one of the roughest Platinums I've ever gotten. I'll be steering clear of these 8-bit inspired games in the future because I absolutely suck at them. If you're into these type of games, great, but they're just not for me. Anyway, thanks for watching, <laughs> and until next time, take care.